hello, 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 my podcast people, and thank you for joining me for yet another episode of my favorite podcast. If you are listening or watching on the day that it drops, this is Monday, September 16th. Welcome to the middle of September. Today's main business announcement ties into the full episode, so or the full episode topic. So we're going to start with my life updates, and then we will hop on into that business announcement update. So first life update coming your way is that Justin's trip was awesome. I've spoken about it in the past few episodes, uh, but he's officially gone. He's out of here. Uh, but it was amazing. He was for here for like 10 days. The first few of them, well, he was here with his girlfriend, Carly. Uh, and then the back end, it was just him. And it was just, it was great to have both of them. And then it was great to spend time with just him and have him out in the space. You know, on, you, know, you folks know I love living in California and to have him here. And he loves it here too. Um, so that was amazing. I miss him and I'll see him again in Thanksgiving. But um, I will say if you listening to this, have the ability or the opportunity to have your people come and stay with you, do it. You know, my youngest brother, Dan, he came up, he drove up on that Saturday night. And so it was all of us here. And it was just great to see them. We know that as we get older, we spend less and less time with our family. So if you can do something about it, do that. Uh, Second life update, it is hot as fuck. It's hot as fuck in SoCal, and I love it, actually. I, it's not so pleasant for recording these episodes because you have windows closed and things like that, um, but I love it. So this happens every year. Y'all know I write it down. I write down the weather, so I know. August through October are the warmest months in in SoCal, and we actually call, once September hits, we call it local summer, locals summer, because all the tourists have gone, and it is actually the nicest time to be at the beach. So the reason that it's so hot here uh, is actually threefold. One, the marine layer is gone. Right? We get that marine layer that causes the May gray and June gloom, but it's gone now. So that is a little bit like protective from the heat. So it's gone now. Uh, second thing is the, the, you know, so like you said, the uh, June, not June gloom, the marine layer is out. The Santa Ana winds are in. They bring the warm weather, the warm temperatures with them. And then also the ocean is the warmest that it'll be all year. Right? It's have it all year to, to heat up. And now it's warm quote unquote it's still kind of chilly but it's warmer than it normally is so all of that combines and we get some really warm days and it's been in like the mid to upper 80s which i know sounds like maybe not that bad but very few places actually have air conditioning here because it's always so cool we live right by the water right i'm like less than three miles away from the water uh so it gets a little bit like kind of unpleasant um but i love it honestly the animals are doing fine rupert's like literally here you can't see him but he's right behind me just passed out um, wagging his tail because I just said his name. Uh, but I love this weather. I absolutely love it. Um, but flip side of this is that the pumpkin spice lattes and the Halloween decorations are up at Homo Depot. And to me, this is all just another reminder to be where your feet are. Right? Be where your feet are. Everything and everyone is going to try and rush you forward. And I'm kind of like, where are you rushing forward to? Now that I'm getting older, I am getting older. We're all getting older, but I'm in the different, you know, entering the next category of getting older. And it's just like, where are you rushing me off to? Death? Like, what are you doing? I don't want to rush anywhere else. Let me be present. Let me be where my feet are. Let me enjoy the moment. So soft suggestion for you to do the same. Okay. Third life update uh, is that my knee is doing better. I can't remember if I talked about my knee in the last episodes. I'd be talking a lot. But if I did, then it's doing better. If I didn't talk about it, well, my knee got injured like two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago. Um, at the time of at the time that I'm recording this uh, and it's doing much better so right off the bat check out Anna Hartman I know I talk about her a bunch and I will continue I will continue to talk about her a bunch uh, as it relates to anything physical therapy athletic trainer treatment assessment wise Um, she has this visceral neurophysiological approach to assessment and treatment and it is how I think everyone should be treating. I think that it is a missing link for people and it definitely guides my my thinking when I'm looking to work on myself. So I like fake hurt my knee. I'm going to say fake hurt is because I like, wasn't doing anything. I was literally walking to get a ball and all of a sudden I was like, oh, I stepped to like, literally I was just walking to get the ball and I stepped and I was like, oh, geez, that feels weird. And I had to sit up the rest of the practice. Um, I think that ultimately from the like orthopedic perspective, I pinched the fat pad in my knee uh but i don't know i didn't like go get any kind of like imaging or anything done it didn't like blow up or get super swollen but it has felt like there's a like a bubble in my knee it's just very uncomfortable a lot of pressure uh so it has been getting better i've been taking care of it but i've been trying to figure out the cause i was like what the heck caused this right and yes perry Perry nicholson has said is your body perry nicholson has said your body is under no obligation to make sense to you but 
and it's going to do what it wants to do. Flip side is that it does want to heal, right? And so I'm kind of like, what's going on? I know you want to heal, but what what started this? And I started, I remembered yesterday, I was like, oh, wait, I did have some like tibial nerve tension and low back pain. And I was like, and the low back pain, I kind of get it intermittently. And it felt like kind of like iliolumbar ligament area. Uh, and I was like, oh, I think it's, I think that's the ultimate root cause. Like I'm going to treat the actual symptoms at my knee, but which is like largely discomfort more so than like anything else but like i think the like etiology the thing that triggered it all is, is somewhere else so been treating my back slash nervous system um i'm going after the viscera because going after the viscera always helps um doing some localized treatment to the actual knee and kind of like around that area with cupping I love me some cupping um, kind of like the it band quad area and just continued strength training and then gradual reintroduction of dynamic movement um this is not a, to me a strength issue at all uh, my, so my concern in like going back, I didn't just want to just jump into things is that I would actually go and injure something else because things are just not kind of like not firing the way that I want. Um, but it's not a strength thing. So I'm like, let me just make sure the movement is there and just ease my way back in, see how things, you know, tolerate it. Um, and we are definitely trending positive. I think it would be, would be good to get into see Anna or Karen, but we'll see what happens. I will keep all of you posted right okay those are the life updates now on to the only business update for the episode doors for round 16 of the instagram intensive are officially open for those of you that don't know the instagram intensive is my six-week online group coaching program that teaches health and fitness pros exactly how to use and i said exactly how to use instagram for online business we start next tuesday september 24th and registration closes this friday september 20th at 11 59 p.m. PT for all of you last minute Lucy's Friday is the day okay registration price is 500 and wow 597 US dollars USD uh, and there's a link in the show notes if you want to head to the registration page check that out it has legit all of the information on it along with pretty much everything I'm going to say in this episode um, but I want to do this episode because I realized that I don't have an episode that is solely dedicated to the Instagram intensive. So that is the topic of today's video, today's podcast episode. So I want to use the episode to chat about the thing that I have become the most known for, uh, the offer that I've taken over 550 online business pros through and the offer that I encourage folks to start with when they're looking for more direct ways to work with me. All right. Like I said, we are currently on round 16 of the intensive uh, and round one took place in 2019. Full transparency, the Instagram intensive was somewhat I somewhat begrudgingly started it. Uh, I launched a self-paced course, maybe you may remember it, Instagramming with the Maestro in 2019. I did a week-long challenge. It was a show up to blow up challenge uh, as the timely lead magnet that was leading up to the, the sale of that Instagramming with the Maestro uh, on Jill's recommendation. And I got 1,500 plus people in that uh, lead magnet in that challenge and then I almost died it was so much work <laughs> thank you if you're watching this you're listening money my ogs thank you for all of you that have taken that took part in it that thing was awesome um, so thank you at the end of the challenge I sold the course and it did very well um, but many people were also like hey we want something else we want something more than this self-paced course and I was like but I made this course for you and I do attribute some of that to the life coaching that I did during the challenge um, so that was, you know, that was on me. Um, but ultimately, the demand there led me to create the Instagram intensive, which was basically the live version of the self-paced course. I went on to sell like 600 units of that self-paced course, but I retired it because Instagram changes so goddamn much that I couldn't keep up with updating the videos. And to me, this is at the, you know, the heart of the beauty of the intensive, right? It is always up to date because I run it live. Right. The first time that I ran it, I ran it four times that year, I want to say. It was a lot. I was young and, and eager, full of energy. Uh, I run it twice a year now, once in kind of February-ish and then once in September-ish, and that's why we are currently in that 16th round. Um, the format for the intensive is it is six live calls over the course of six weeks. Each call takes place on Tuesday night at 4 p.m. Pacific, and it la they, each call lasts for about two to two and a half hours. You do not have to stay on the call the whole time, but I obviously stay on the call the whole time, and I stay on until the very last question is, is, is asked and answered. So however long that takes, you have my attention. 
right? Um, I teach each week from an outline and I send that outline out the day before. So uh, I send it out on Monday evening. And the reason I do this is so that you don't have to worry about taking, you know, copious notes during the call. You can sit and absorb and then just add to your notes while I'm teaching. Right. The, the weekly topics are as follows. Week one is building that foundation. We go through identifying your why, identifying your target audience and what you do for them, aka your niche, your niche, and creating your bio. I love that week. Week two, that is stories and socializing. We go over how to dominate the most important parts of Instagram, which is stories and DMs. And yes, I said the most important part, right? How you should be showing up on stories, what you should be posting there, what you should be sharing there, and what you should be doing in the DMs. Week number three, we go over posts and reels. This is graphics, videos, images, all of them. I teach you how to create the posts, all the types of posts, and do so in a way that will attract your ideal audience and actually get them to engage with you. Week four is content creation and captions. We're talking about content, excuse me, connection marketing during this, uh, during that week and crafting the ideal user experience. So what should you actually be writing in the captions? Because they are also important. It's not just about what you have in the actual post. Week number five is engagement and growth, what everyone's looking for, right? Understanding all of the parts of Instagram, looking at the insights, and what are the best practices for getting in front of more eyes and actually growing your account. Week six, the final week, is monetizing and platform diversification. This is how to actually make money on Instagram and how to thrive in a world without social media, aka what would you do if Instagram died? Would you be prepared? Would your business be okay? I will teach you what to do so that it is okay. During the calls, namely call number two and number three, I share my screen and show you the exact tech of how to create the posts and create the reels and navigate the platform, right? Full transparency, that is probably my least favorite part of the intensive. I do it because I realize it's incredibly necessary and it's incredibly helpful, uh, but it's not my favorite part by any means, right? So like I said, I teach from an outline that gets sent out every Monday. Lex, she actually moderates the calls. She's moderated all of them since the beginning. Uh, and the reason that she's doing that is just if there are any questions or if there's any addition or kind of go, I go off script, she adds that to that outline and then sends that outline out additionally after the call. So you have the outline going into the call, you get the recording of the call, you get the additional notes from the call, and you get the chat log from the call. And they are all posted to the private Facebook group. The reason I do it like this is so that people can actually search for the specific things they need, especially during the tech side of things. It can be like, oh my God, I forgot. Wait, I think you said this thing. You can just go to that outline, control F, look for the, you know, the keyword that you want, and you'll see exactly what I taught. And then if you want to reference it in the video, you can, but it's much easier to just go and look from an outline as opposed to trying to scrub through two plus hours of video, right? So the flip side of this, because that's like my least favorite part is the tech side. I love the tech, but, you know, I don't, I'm just gonna, I'm going to be fully transparent with this. I don't love teaching that part of it um, just because to me, it's not as fun. Um, but again, I know the value of it. And so I fully lean into it. But my most favorite part of the intensive is honestly, if we zoom out, it is the, the fact that it is confidence coaching that is disguised as content coaching. So I absolutely go over the how to, like the tech, how to make the post. I actually go, I absolutely go over idea generation, what to be posting, how to come up with ideas for what to post, how to never run out of ideas for what to post. I absolutely go over the quote unquote strategy, right? When to post what? Absolutely, we go over that. I go over looking at the insights. All of that, we do all of that in the intensive, but at the heart of it, the intensive teaches folks how to show up as themselves and build a brand. Seth Godin, Seth, wow, wow, I'd like a little excitement moment. Seth Godin, right, he's one of my favorites, you know this. He has a quote, and the quote reads, a brand is a promise of what we should expect from you the next time we see you. Can we say it one more time? A brand is a promise of what we should expect from you the next time we see you. Fucking love that. That's so true. And that's why we love brands, right? We're like, I know what I'm getting and I like what I'm getting. All right? The Instagram intensive over the course of six weeks breaks down how to do this. All right? There is a reason that call number one is all about niching down. Right? We also provide or it also provides a runway for you to get started doing this and building this brand with me holding your hand and then lays out what you should be doing for literally the rest of forever if you want this thing to be successful, right? So let's talk about success. I do not promise you that you're going to go viral and you're going to make $11 billion. What I do, however, promise is that you will know exactly what you need to do in order to use Instagram for online business. Right? Every single thing that you need to do, you will learn and you will know that you need to do that. 
Businesses, at the end of the day, are built on solutions to problems. To that end, you must be able to solve problems. And as it relates to the business side of things and the monetary side of things, people must be willing to pay to have those problems solved. They have to want to pay to solve, have those problems solved. I'm not in charge of either of those things, which is why I'm not going to promise you, you know, $11 billion in, in business success. What we do, however, go over in the intensive is how to communicate your message and convey your value as a business, aka how you can help your people and how you can help them, you know, conveying this to your audience. In my humble opinion, what makes the intensive different from what else is out there? And honestly, I can't even be sure fully what else is out there because I'm not out there scouring the internet. I'm not out there searching. I really don't care what other people are doing. I am solely going off of what members from the intensive have told me. They've taken other things and they come and take the intensive. But what makes the intensive different is that I am not about to teach you how to steal attention. I am going to teach you how to build and earn trust with your audience. And then I'm going to introduce the online business fundamentals that are foundational for financial profit. Right? This, I say this technically all the time, the Instagram intensive is not just Instagram coaching. It is business coaching for Instagram. Um, part of what inspired this episode is a text conversation that I was having with Jill this morning. And the long and the short of the conversation is that follower count does matter. Right? I was going to do a full episode about this, about follower account, and I still may, um, but I wanted to tie it in with today's episode about the intensive because, uh, you know, as you'll hear, if you decide to learn from me or you continue to learn from me in any capacity, when you're selling, be selling. This way, when you're not selling, you don't have to worry about selling. And so I am selling right now, like doors are open for the intensive. So I am telling you about the intensive with full confidence, with my whole chest, because once the doors are closed, they are closed. And I do not want it to be, nor will I have it be my fault that you didn't know that the doors were open in the first place, right? So I was like, you know what? I'm making a whole episode about this. I'm not getting a little PS and sliding in a little, you know, PS note in an episode. We're doing a full episode to let you know about the intensive, right? This is the confidence that I teach you to show up with. Yes, it takes time, but we got to start somewhere in the intensive, right? This is the business approach that I teach. It's full transparency. It's about giving the customer autonomy. Right? It is founded in being able to get results and having a solid product. No bait and switch, no bullshit. Right? So back to follower count. Audience quality being equal. Right? Audience quality being equal. Having a bigger audience that wants what you have is better than having a smaller audience that wants what you have. Right? The intensive teaches you how to build that quality audience, which is something that I think other programs miss, right? They focus solely on quantity, right? Growth behind bullshit will bring flies. That's not what we want, right? We want an audience full of people who may eventually buy from you, right? And if you want that, you have to show up as you and you got to share things that your audience values. I have no hacks. I have no shortcuts. This shit takes a long time and not everybody who plays the game gets to win. Full transparency. What I do have um, is honesty. I have experience and I have a tried and true system that is trusted by 550 plus health and fit fitness professionals, right? I've taken 550, we're, we're probably going to close in on 600 this round, health and fitness professionals through this thing. And I met my results. I might, my, rather I should say my results, excuse me, their results are my reputation and I bet the house on it every time. So let's get into a few FAQs and then we will wrap it up. So first one, uh, is the intensive only for health and fitness pros? No, I market it for health and fitness pros so that they know that it's for them because if you don't put someone's name on it, then nobody thinks it's for them. Uh, but at the end of the day, marketing is marketing. Right? I'm, I'm teaching about marketing using Instagram. Uh, I've had CPAs go through it. I've had writers go through it. I've had real estate agents go through it. If you think it can help you, it will help you. If you're wondering if... It can help you if you're wondering if, you, if, the, if the intensive will be a good fit. Just DM me, right? And we can text about it or DM me or text me 310-737-2345 and we can chat about it and see if you'd be a good fit. I will probably say yes, uh, but let's chat anyway. I want you to feel really good about the investment. Second, is the Instagram intensive only for online business owners? Yes and no. I do not encourage... Uh, 
brick and mortar business owners to use Instagram as their primary form of marketing. I think that if you're looking to use an online, anything online, it needs to be SEO. You know that Lex is all things SEO. We will link her in the show notes. Check her out for that. If, however, you're looking to uh, have it serve, look to, or if you're looking to have social media serve as just kind of an awareness for your business and so people can go to it and just see what you're about. Um, if you're looking to kind of start your own personal brand, you have your brick and mortar business that's thriving. You're looking to start a secondary thing that's just your own. Then those are cases where, yes, the Instagram intensive would make sense for you. If you're looking to figure out how to use Instagram to bring clients to your in in person business, I have free podcast episodes that I'd rather you check out for that. And then I'm going to say, do not use Instagram for that because it doesn't work that way. You're going to want to lean on SEO. Instagram to get more in person clients is, in my opinion, not a very good use of your time. Okay. All right. Uh, if I can't make the calls live, should I still sign up for the intensive? This is especially for my folks in Europe. I'm going to put that in there because that is literally the worst time zone uh, for the Pacific coast. Like it is like the middle of the night there. So I used to say, no, if you can't make it live, don't sign up for the intensive. And I realized that I was largely projecting thanks to a member of the intensive cadence. Uh, if you are good at watching recordings, then the Instagram intensive will be perfect for you. Right, the recordings of each call that go up a few hours after the call is completed because it has to like download, upload the whole thing there. Um, but then you can watch it in faster speed if you want. Um, any questions that you may have, you can drop them in the Facebook group and then I will answer them at the very beginning of the next call as well. So they'll get answered in the fa private Facebook group that we have and then they will get answered in the uh, on the live call. Right? So you're, not, you're gonna be like sitting there in the dark and having these questions and never, they're never gonna get answered. They will get answered, I promise. All right. Um, I do speak fast. You're listening to me now. Um, but if you can listen faster, like I said, this is a great option for you if you want to watch the replay and watch it on a faster speed. So if you can't make the calls live, but you know that you will watch replays, this is absolutely will, will absolutely work out for you. Do I offer a payment plan? I'm going to be fully transparent here. No one has ever asked me this, but I'm going to address it. Um, because I want to give you some insight into how I operate as a business owner, right? And how I, what I teach and what I believe. So no, I don't offer a business plan, a business plan. Wow. No, I do not offer a payment plan for this because it's only six weeks long and I don't want to be chasing payments after the conclusion of the actual program. Danny Matei said this once at a conference of his, a mastermind of his that I attended. And I was like, yeah, I agree. And he said, your credit card is the payment plan. And I was like, Yes. I respect that. I'm not telling you to go into debt for this. I'm just telling you that I don't want to take on the risk. You can take on the risk. That's all. If you don't have a credit card, that is also totally fine because I offer this twice a year. So meaning if you don't have a credit card, you're like, well, I can't pay it off over time. Okay. I offer this twice a year. I say when the next round is going to be. Like I said, every round is in either February for the kind of the winter or September for the, for the fall uh, offer of it. Just wait, save up, and then you can pay when you can afford it. In the meantime, you, I have so many of the free resources that you can be that you can be learning from. The intensive isn't going anywhere. Okay. Uh, second to last thing, what do I do about the fact that Instagram is always changing? How do I handle that? Well, like I said, I got rid of my Instagram with the Maestro course because of that, because I couldn't keep the program updated. That is why I made the intensive, right? And the way that I handle this is that you have access to the Facebook group for forever. Your calls, the recording of those calls from your specific cohort, they will get emailed to you, all of them in a folder when the intensive is done. All of the notes, everything gets emailed to you. You can watch those recordings a million times if you want at any time. You also have, like I said, access forever. You'll be in that Facebook group forever unless you leave and never want to come back to it. All right. That means that you can watch the recordings from subsequent rounds because I put, or Lex actually does it, puts the recordings in the Facebook group. That is why I do it that way and that I don't house the recordings somewhere else. It's so that in each round has access to it. So if you took it in round one, that's very different than what's going on. A lot of the things are very different than what's going on right now on Instagram. I don't want you to have to pay again to learn. So you can just watch the recordings from the current cohort. You can't come to the call live. The li you cannot come to the calls live but you can watch the recordings. You can ask questions in the Facebook group, right? And then Karen James, she's our moderator. She is in the group answering the questions and she drops, I feel, I feel like she works for, for Meta. I'm like, how do you know this stuff? She shares articles all the time about updates and when they're coming out and what's happening. So you will always be abreast of what is going on in the Instagram world. 
Okay, last part. Where are the testimonials? So I thought about doing voice notes for this episode, but I honestly just dropped the ball with it, namely because I wasn't planning on making this episode. I sat down on Monday today to make it this episode, to make an episode, and I was like, you know what? I should do an intensive episode. And I wasn't trying to message people and be like, hey, can you give me a voice note like soon, like today? Like that's just so tacky. Uh, so there are there are a ton of actual testimonials on the registration page. Um, you take that out again, that's in the show notes. Or if you DM me the word testimonial, I will send you a PDF that has on it 13 different testimonials that I pulled that I think hit the different points that I believe people care about. I honestly may add a few more to those. Um, I collect to most testimonials every round and we have you know hundreds at this point, but I picked out the ones that I'm like, okay, this hits this idea about community. This hits uh, the concern about not being able to come to the calls live. Uh, this hits the concern about it. Like I have no tech background. I get confused easily. So I tried to hit those main points because um, I know I personally don't love like reading through a million testimonials, um, but I might add some more if I'm, if I'm feeling up to it. But either way, if you DM me the word testimonial, I will send you a PDF of all the testimonials if you want to read some other testimonials, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm looking at the time. I'm going to wrap this up. First off, before I wrap it up, if you have any questions about the intensive, anything at all, DM me. I'm here to chat. I'm happy to chat. I don't do sales calls for it, but I do absolutely do text messages and do DMs. Um, so you can text me, oh, excuse me, you can DM me at the Move It Maestro, or you can text me. Again, that number is 310-737-2345. I'm happy to answer anything. All right. If you're like, I think I'm too advanced or am I too beginner, text me and I'll tell you what I think, right? I told you, you heard when we were talking about being a brick and mortar owner, like if it's not for you, I'll tell you. I'm not trying to take your money. Like I said earlier, your results are my reputation. If you go through this thing and you hate it and you get no results, that looks bad on me. I don't want that. So I want people that it's going to be the best fit for. That's also why I don't do hard sales. I don't do payment plans just to get anybody and everybody into it. Like if you can't afford it, that's okay. Wait till you can save up and then take it later. I don't need everyone in it. I don't need the most people in it. I need and want the best people in it, the people that are the best fit for it. And if you're having financial urgency or financial hardship with it, I don't want you going into debt for this thing by any means. That's why I have so many other resources out there, okay? So if you got questions around any of that, shoot me a text, 310-737-2345, or drop me a DM, all right? Last thing, if you want to learn exactly how to use Instagram for online business, I would love to have you in the intensive, right? I got to say, I, if you want to learn these things, I want you in the intensive, all right? Yes, we will go over the tech. Yes, we will go over what to post. Yes, we will talk about hashtags. Spoiler, they are not important. But most importantly, what is important is that you will leave with the confidence to show up as yourself on this platform and the understanding of how to attract people who actually want to buy from you, okay? Do not forget registration closes this Friday, September 20th at 11.59 p.m. PT. The doors close, right? The offer ends. The way that Kajabi works, it's closed. It's not like, oh, can I get in? Can I come in? No, it's, it's literally, it's closed. All right, so if you are a last minute Lucy and you need that, you know, that uh, whatever it's called, that adrenaline rush, don't wait too late, okay? Okay. That's all I got for you. As always, endlessly, endlessly, endlessly appreciative for every single one of you. Until next time, friends, Maestro out.